if you chose dice number one, it rolled a two, which represents Aphrodite, goddess of affection. It's important for you to think affectionately. She's crowned with beautiful, though short-lived flowers and a butterfly that soars to the rainbows or to the end of the rainbow. And her message is that you are surrounded by possibilities for pleasure and things that delight you. And it's important for you to be open to experience these delightful encounters and situations. If you're single, then it represents finding true love. And if you're not, it represents connecting to your true love. Not just relationship though. This message is about seeking pleasure and bliss in your life. If you chose dice number two, it rolled a 10. And the goddess behind 10 is Pesawi, the goddess of endurance. And her heart is always shown with a spinning wheel of time held in the arms of the great spirit. And at the center is the turtle upon which the earth rests. Her message to you is to feel contentment at this time. Feel centered and grounded and allow yourself to connect to Mother Earth. You're connecting to a cycle right now, its rhythms and its seasons. So it's important for you to relax into your present moment and allow yourself to feel her safety and security around you. Let go of things by asking for her assistance in the things that you're dealing with that doesn't allow you to feel the contentment you need. She is a goddess of endurance. So she will bring you the energy and the wisdom you seek so that you can feel contentment. If you chose dice number three, we rolled a six. So that represents Artemis, the goddess of discernment. Her home is the moist and fragrant forest floor. And it's really said when you walk into the forest and you smell that earth, that forest, you're connecting to her goddess power. She stands on her sacred stone, the fluorite which allows her to concentrate her mind's logical ability with her spiritual vision of what should be. So if you have a fluorite, that would be a great stone to carry. If you don't, I have some, <laughs> toot toot. But mm, what this means, is that she wants you to connect your mind, your conscious mind with your subconscious mind and create the vision of things that are right for the whole of you, okay? And her sacred animal is the squirrel, which concentrates on burying one acorn at a time. And thereby, it actually perpetuates a whole forest of oak trees. So her message to you is to focus all the skills you have at your disposal and to analyze your situations. Let yourself act to change by isolating and taking care of every detail, one step at a time. So it's important for you to attend to details 
almost like everything in your life is on a checklist to, to get things done. And she's channeling that power. She's the goddess of discernment. So use her, connect to the forest floor, carry a fluorite, and tend to details. And for anyone that's listening to this, whenever you see the squirrel, because it came up in this, it represents attending to details. So what do you need to get done? Be confident in the things that you need to take care of. This is part of your path and you are moving forward. I hope you enjoyed these messages. Many blessings to you and have a great day. Bye-bye. If you liked this video and the message that you received and would like me to do more, like this video.